Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So you can't take good care of anyone unless you take care of yourself, but women classically self-sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like, for instance, Madison, you have kids. How do you not put them before you? Um, you, you lose you, yourself. No, you, you can't. Kids come before everything else. Mm -hmm. But you know, and you don't think of it that way. A lot of times you don't think of what you do and the energy that you put into things as self-sacrifice. You just do it. Um, I know for sure when I was growing up, every now and then we get knocked aside the head, and you know I look at my mom and she goes, "You'll understand," mm. you know. And then do you understand? I, yes, I do. <laughs> okay. I do now because, I, and and I, I I walked up to my mother the other day and I just hugged her mm. and I just started to cry and she's holding me and she's looking at me like, "Why? Why are you doing this?" I was like, "I understand." Yeah. Amber, do you understand. understand being a mother? I mean, have you lost any sense of yourself? Child, I haven't lost none of my stuff. I'm not losing myself over them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you on mommy's train, okay? Mommy not on your train. But no, I mean, <laughs> but I recently got a new job where I can take my kids to work with me. Oh, and it has been nice. such a blessing. It's like, yeah. you know, it's like a camp and they go and they have a great time. You know, I have Kai, he's four, it's nice, eight. So, I mean, really, they love what I do. They're like my cheerleaders, actually. So, well, I mean, you know what? That's, that's interesting you mentioned that because um, the whole business about you're on mommy's time. See, that's how I grew up, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, my, in my family, you know, my mom and my dad, they did their thing and we just went along for the ride. We were, it's like, right. this, is, this is our world, you are in it. Mm -hmm. And yet two of my best friends have what I consider to be very, very child-centric families. Mm -hmm. And I look at, you know, I look at the way that they operate mm -hmm. in that model and I'm just like, I look at it and I'm terrified because I'm like, well, is that what parenting is well, now? Do you that feel wouldn't, that, that wouldn't work for me. Cheryl, do you feel yeah. like you've lost your friends in that? You know what? No, because because I'm the only single one left, so I kind of go and snatch them back into reality every so often. Mm -hmm. You know, I but but even even that said, I think I because I'm the single one, then I'm the one who does the most reaching out. I do the most planning and coordinating. Mm -hmm. And in fact, most of the time, I have to go do things that are centered around kids if I want to be able to participate. Well, absolutely, with that. Anna, you're absolutely. you're single, but do yes. you ever feel like you've had a tendency to lose yourself in a relationship? Were you uh, sacrificed to you were? Oh my goodness, I have a story for you. Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I mean, in a relationship, I was with somebody for seven years, and everything was about them. You know what I mean? And I, mm -hmm. I, you know, it was too much. Too have much you dated anyway. somebody with kids? Yeah, he had kids. He had two. It, it was it was horrible when when we broke up. Like, yeah. but, it was yeah. horrible. but what now? Now. I put myself first. I'm too selfish, and <laughs> and I am I am happy that I say that because mm -hmm. I went through a lot, mm -hmm. and I'm you know and now. So is this a stage in your life where you're deciding I'm being just selfish. to make selfish? I don't you? have kids. I'm mm -hmm. fine. It's about me. <laughs> See, I, I, when, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh well, I'm just guilty to a, a fault of putting everybody else before me. My my friends my you know my lovers my parents anyone and i never saved time for myself and i finally realized mm -hmm. that at a point i wasn't doing a good job of meeting anybody's needs right. in these relationships because i never took care of myself mm -hmm. i mean for years i did this mm -hmm. and, and and when i was i'm divorced now but when i was married i was guilted into staying into the marriage because I wasn't being a good mother. I wasn't mm. putting my children's needs first and therefore I had to stay in a relationship where I had lost myself. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of guilt play in that and oh, you're not doing this? Well, you're not being a good wife. Mm. Did oh, you're you not believe doing this? That? And, I, and I did I and because think, yeah. it was supported by other family members, right? You know, mm. oh well, he's the husband. He should lay down the law. Oh, you are a mom now. You, you cannot. And you I have wasn't to. like, and so you gonna be daycare? <laughs> yeah, daycare. Yeah, exactly. Right. Every, yeah, they all live in other states at that right, time. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But I. But I wonder at what point then did you realize you had lost yourself and you wanted to get back to the Madison we know and love? Mm. I, when I, I didn't. When I looked at myself in the mirror and I didn't know who I was. Mm. Wow. That's what happened. What did that look like to you, Madison? Um, I. It was a. For me, I. It was looking at a stranger. Mm. And it, you, you know, you put, you see the image, but you, you don't know who mm. it is, and that person doesn't make sense to you anymore. Mm. And that's why, I, and I had to do that. I did that for my children, right? Because I didn't want them to grow up with a mother who was living in the shell of herself. Do you think mm. that addicts have a tendency to do that? I mean, they lose themselves to what they're addicted to. Mostly, I, you know, I had a very close friend of mine who was addicted to drugs, and she lost herself essentially to that. Same could be said with, you know, friends of mine who have had eating disorders. That mm -hmm. became them. But I think anything you give your attention to, that's your treasure. That's your true treasure. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like my children, they're my treasure. I love yeah. them, but at the same time, 
I don't want to lose myself. I came out here with a yeah. purpose, with a goal, you know, and for them to be like my biggest cheerleaders is the best thing in life. Mm -hmm. And in that, I can cheer them on right. with whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. you know, but if I consume myself with them all the time, you're right. You're going to look in the mirror and you're going to say, what happened to me? You're right. wearing sweats and a bandana. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Were you looking in my mirror? Were you looking in my mirror? Yeah. I look at myself and going, shit, I used to look that. Nice. Air a little dark. You're like, what happened? I can't put on makeup no more. I mean, it's just trifling. So, I mean, uh, you have to take it yourself. And guess what? When you have a dream, your children are part of the dream. Life gets bigger than life itself. So. Exactly. That's what I want to do. I want to be the example for my children, mm -hmm. so that you know, so that they can live their life without regrets, and I can, because they can look at me and see that I did exactly the same. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to just try and live an example to all of you. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back, every white woman. After this commercial break, there's more Everyway Woman.